I mean, how many unemployment scams do I got to do to get myself a Lamborghini? <laughs> Dude, uh, the inspiration for this one, I, I just went on a 45-minute drive. In places you should see luxury cars, it's like McLaren, McLaren, R8, um, Lambo. Where the hell are the people getting the money for this shit? <laughs> like, yeah. I, dude, I don't, I, I've never seen so many, and this is Michigan, right? You, it's a six month car at best. And even then you're probably buying three or four wheels from the potholes. Um, you seen cars like that, um, Birmingham, West Bloomfield, the, the concentration occasionally, a lot of Porsches, every once in a while you see a Ferrari, you see a Lambo, um, I see at least three Lambos a day by my house. Just oh wow, going as a, there's a there's a fucking uh, McLaren sitting outside Jimmy John's. The dude's eating a sandwich. It's like, <laughs> wait, what's going? Where is all the money coming from? Hey, that's a lot of money too. I mean, I'm guessing you can lease a cheaper Lambo or McLaren for like three thousand a month or something. That's is a guess. Yeah. You know, if you're making 200 grand, it sounds it's probably not that bad. But to see that many cars in Michigan, say since COVID started, where's all the money coming from? I just, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's not just Mich- it's not just Michigan because uh, over here in Cleveland, I, I, I know often my, my oh, sorry, my wife and I will. We'll go for a drive and, and I've commented many times, oh, it looks like people are driving nicer cars. Maybe it's not like the supercar level, but you definitely see a lot more Audis, a lot more BMWs, a lot more kind of like mid-level luxury cars. For sure. For sure. I you, I think you definitely see more of that stuff, period, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, I, I drive through Birmingham down Woodward and that, that Mercedes-Benz dealer is like empty. I think I think they're only selling like used cars. Uh, mm-hmm. they, they got like a bunch of used Audis out there or some shit. I don't know. Um, they're like sold out. And there's a Lexus dealer on M59. And it's like they had a huge sign out. Like we're trying to buy used cars because I don't think they can get any new cars. Where's all the money coming from? Is this back to <laughs> that whole money supply and people got a bunch of stimulus and it's got a bunch of money. Or the, it's like the business owners are probably benefiting because you own a business and then all this money's pumped into the system. So people are buying shit left and right, making the business owners wealthy. Yeah. I just can't. I just, I saw an Audi R8 in a place that my first thought is that's going to get stolen in the next 45 minutes. <laughs> and that, that's the, that's the area I just drew through kind of the place where I grew up. Yeah, no one would park that car where, where I grew up. Yeah. Like, someone on my block would done had those rims already, and we, 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 that thing would be gone, <laughs> right? They, yeah. they'd, be, they'd be picking that thing apart. And I'm like, why the hell is there already sitting? And then it's like, wait a minute, there's a Lambo. I drive a little further. There's a McLaren. A Lambo. I must have saw how, how many cars in a 45 minute drive. And I get two o'clock. What time's it now? Four, two o'clock on a Tuesday. Like, what the hell are these people doing? So I'm sitting here like, damn. For all these people that are say they're struggling, there's a lot of people making money too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I think that it also speaks to a bigger trend. And just in luck, we were talking about cars, but luxury in general. I mean, here's a, a headline: luxury sales turned in an unusually strong first half of the year. I, I know for at least a brief moment in time, the owner of LVMH uh, became the richest person in the world this year. Um, but I think that speaks to the trend as well, for sure. Well, no, I knew someone was trying to buy some something from Chanel at, at Somerset down here. And mm-hmm. during the times when the unemployment money was like fat, they had like a line <laughs> out the door at Chanel. Yeah, and this person's like, I can't even like unless I go to the store, go wait in line. Like, they have their own personal shopper that they text and and shit, but they couldn't get like a, they wouldn't respond. They were too busy selling all the stuff in the store. Like, the person at Chanel said it was the equivalent of December, like that Christmas sale. 
Yeah. Uh, the velocity of sales. It was like Christmas for six months straight. That's how much luxury goods are being purchased. And it's like, well, you say that, and then I look at 11 million people are about to get evicted from their apartment. So, you know, are people buying luxury cars and spend their money at Chanel or did it go to rent? Go to rent I think we have our answer. But, I mean, all right, you're not buying a, a mother clearing with unemployment money. I get that. I think it's just a testament to how much money was pumped into the system and how people spent it was just in different ways, right? Yeah. I, I find yeah. myself seeing two, three, $350,000 cars in places I would normally not see them. And my guess is most of those people would never even stop in that area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I, it's one thing when I see them in the, in the wealthy areas, you expect that. You expect wealthy people, there's sports stars, there's business executives, there's tech, you know, hundred millionaire, billionaire, like you're in those areas in Michigan. Not surprising to see some Ferraris and some Lambos and shit. Uh, everyone's got a Porsche, like I joke about. Everyone's got the the I'm getting wealthy starter kit, the Rolex and the Porsche, right? <laughs> Porsches, yeah. dime a dozen. Um, but to see that many is crazy for Michigan anyways. I see that in Miami, right? You, you travel to other places, you travel to California, you see it, that's every day. Yeah. But for Michigan, that's not every day. And to see that many right now, it's like I just drove by like $2 million worth of supercars. And then I started to see them in strange places. Like, I don't, you just, you normally don't see a Ferrari there. And like, I normally don't see a supercar and just sitting outside of Jimmy John's, right? Like, Maybe it's sitting outside some cool bar or some shit. I don't know, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm finding them. They're now popping up in obscure places, way outside of where you would like consider um, wealthy areas or places that you'd even want to drive that car. Yeah. Um, what do you think will happen? You know, a little bit down the road, if if there is an economic downturn, uh, do you feel like these are these are a sign that people think that times are going to be good forever or I mean, is there is there going to be an excellent secondhand market if you really want LVMH goods in in a few you know in a year or two or three? It's like that conversation we have, or I make the joke of, and I'm going to make this joke every other episode. But <laughs> you're you uh, you're a first you're a freshman. You take your econ survey course, and there's that student that goes, "Why don't we just print more money?" And the professor like slams this thing down. You can't. It just print more money. Here's why you can't yeah. print more money. Okay, what the fuck did we do last year? Mm -hmm. We've been printing money nonstop around the clock. Like, it's just money stuffed everywhere. Trillions and trillions and trillions. Well, professor was wrong, and now everyone's got their pockets stuffed. You couldn't buy boats. You couldn't buy RVs. You couldn't buy Chanel. You couldn't buy anything last year. We, we, saw, we talked about Rolexes. Rolexes went up like crazy mm -hmm. amount of money. Can't buy a used car. Can't buy a new car now. We had so much money pumped in the system. People just consumed and consumed and consumed. But to your point, there's a lot of durable goods. How how often do you buy an RV, Kane? Not that you'd ever buy yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you bought an RV, or you, you don't trade that in every three years like a car lease. So my thought is in two or three years, if things go by the book, there's going to be a hell of a lot of luxury goods for sale and cars for sale and RVs for sale and boats for sale because we overconsumed. And then when shit kind of calms down and we're not getting the money pumped in the system, you know, you might be able to get that Birkin bag for, you know, 7,000 instead of 20. Mm -hmm. but, uh, hey, yeah. hey, I want a Lamborghini SVJ. Like if, if there's something that's, I live on a dirt road, not even an option. I'm not, yeah. um, I would get 10 feet down my road and I would, I would blow half the front end off. But if it crashes, I'm hoping I can get like a Lamborghini SVJ for like 150,000. Like I hope the bank, um, <laughs> I, you probably don't know, but they sell for quite a bit more than that came. Do they? So, you know, if it does crash, maybe there's some deals to be had. You can go get that, that golf GTI you always dreamed of for like nine grand. No, I'm still working on my, uh, just got wealthy starter kit. So, Oh, you ain't got no Porsche. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> working on it. Working on it. Working on it. Um, 
I don't know, man. It's just one of those things. We weren't even planning on doing this episode. I was just... I'm like shaking my head. I'm driving around. And I'm excited because I'm, I'm, I like when people do well. I see these signs of people paying 15, 16, 20 bucks an hour. I'm like, cool, go get yours. Go get some more money. Like we talked earlier about launching a new product called um, Coach Up 10, where it's like through employment boost, we can figure out a way to help anybody get $10,000 more, right? It's through mm -hmm. uh, professional development and coaching and job selection. Because I think right now, Kane, Anyone could go and make 10 grand more, especially if you're like working class or middle class. Like mm -hmm. the money, the money is out there. Companies are hurting. Go get it. And maybe that's why there's so many McLarens and Lambos. And uh, well, Audi R8s, I've never seen so many Audi R8s. Like, what, what do <laughs> yeah. they do? Like it's did this, did they put a factory in Michigan and just pumping these things out? It's kind of so many of them. Right. <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna see these dudes driving that shit around like december we'll see how that goes yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll be back they'll be back in her camry but because uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I, I i i got a lifted diesel truck and i blow wheels out on michigan roads like we've right. been talking about fixing the roads for like 30 years like we're gonna tax the gas we're gonna tax you more we're gonna get federal funding we're gonna fix the roads fix the roads fix the roads and i literally just blew out a wheel in one of my cars at the car had like 1500 miles on it and i j just blew a tire out i go to discount tire and like you just got the car yeah and i'm like well we just got another pothole <laughs> like, <laughs> like, but for some reason we're selling cars supercars in michigan like crazy so kate if it's that if it's like that in like michigan what the hell's going on everywhere else that's true what you're also telling me is that we need to open a uh a a use or a tire dealership for luxury cars in michigan yeah man there's really no uh you watch a lot of these videos where these these guys like just have a bunch of uh supercars and, and their hypercars now like all this cool stuff in california it's you know southern florida some cool stuff in texas it looks like it's nowhere up here like that mm. there's, and there's like some tuners and whatnot but there's nowhere it's really it's a ferrari dealership I think the Lambo dealership has like used to have one like purple used Lamborghini in the like the 2014 like there's not there's not a whole lot up up here when you start thinking about that and you go so where did it all come from or did a bunch of people just move here and they brought their McLarens with them like all of a sudden Michigan sounds real sexy during COVID <laughs> yeah maybe. even yeah even though we were like the most locked down state in the whole country <laughs> so yeah, I'm guessing that's, that's probably not. Yeah, the case of a bunch of like yeah. tech millionaires are moving here with their Lambos. Um, but yeah, there's no way here. That's probably a good business idea. <laughs> that or there's a fucking rent a center for supercars. Yeah. I think there's I think there's somewhere in New York where you can like be part of a car, you can like pay a membership and you can like get a new like you know, drive a Porsche today and drive a Ferrari tomorrow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a renter center up here where you can just rent a Lambo. And every, everyone's just driving around faking it right now. Maybe that's why there's so many. Or these these people found out how to get some money during all this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah interesting know. times for sure. 56% increase from six months. In the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that line right there, the report right. record. Kane, where'd that money come from? Yeah. Dude, that that money flowed from the government right in the LVMH pockets, right in the McLaren's pockets, right in the Lamborghini's pockets, into Outback Steakhouse pockets, like Rolex. You know, no wonder Wall Street was so excited for for more stimulus and more because they knew it was just going to get pumped right back into their companies. They're like, hell yeah, keep printing. What happens next yeah. time when we stop, when we stop printing? Well, I'll be ready with uh, with dry powder to buy some leather goods. <laughs> hey, you know, it's one of those times when uh, I, I remember the, the deals people got in like 2009, 2008, when the shit really hit the fan. Like those people that, who had cash, they were buying houses. They were, they were buying a lot of cool stuff because they had cash. Mm -hmm. And that just might be what happens this time around where, you know, some dude by a 300k McLaren and goes back to the bank 
and next thing you know, you're going to pick it up at auction for, you know, 160 or something. Um, I knew a dude that he had a bunch of like ATVs and snowmobiles and he wanted an enclosed trailer, but he wanted it all aluminum. And those are, they're lighter cane, but they're aluminum and they're expensive. And I want to say back then it was like a new one was probably 20 grand or some shit. And this guy was selling it for like 15. So the guy I know goes, he's like, I'll give you seven grand cash. This is like half, right? Less than half. Wow. And the guy's like, no, go screw your mother. Get, get out of here. Well, guess who calls back three weeks later? <laughs> <laughs> all right give me the seven grand cash and dude he picked up you know a full fully enclosed lemon trailer for seven thousand dollars and you know everyone hates a low baller but at the end of the day the economy sucked the dude had cash and cash is king mm-hmm. so yeah there might you might be able to get that next watch you want for a good price here in about 24 months mm-hmm. i'm on the lookout save your cash <laughs> But, uh, anyways, that's all I got for now. I'm gonna go roll up, find some dinner, and uh, I'll probably I'll leave a comment if I see any more Lambos or McLaren in the next 35 minutes. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds all good. right, all right, yeah. later. Yeah.